A cheeky back and forth between the city of Danbury and popular show host John Oliver is making a stink in the city and it's also raking in the green. It all started with Oliver poking fun of Danbury on his show this summer and continued tonight with the city council discussing naming what's becoming a city landmark after him. It's a national shout out that didn't go without notice. If you're going to forget a town in Connecticut, why not forget Danbury? Because, and this is true, f Danbury. Last week tonight, host John Oliver throwing punches at the city on a show in August where he pointed out problems with jury summons in neighboring Hartford and New Britain. I know exactly three things about Danbury. USA Today ranked it the second best city to live in in 2015. It was once the center of the American hat industry. And if you're from there, you got a standing invite to come get a thrashing from John Oliver. Little did Oliver know the city's mayor, Mark Bowen, is someone who's never shied away from a snappy response on social media. Behind me, you'll see the city of Danbury sewer plan. And we are going to rename it the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plan. Why? Because it's full of just like you, John. The response also coming with a call to action. If Oliver donated $55,000 and attended the ribbon cutting, he'll get the honor. The back and forth got Oliver on board. I've just been murdered by the city of Danbury, and I love everything about this. Oliver promising to donate money planned for the Connecticut Food Bank, teacher supplies, and ALS Connecticut. The move inspiring more local donations from financial institutions. So far, more than $200,000 total has been pledged. I support renaming the stinky plant after stinky John Oliver. And tonight, it was front and center at the city's virtual council meeting. The mayor reading supportive comments from residents. The community spirit this feud has generated is priceless. During these uncertain times, it gives us a few moments of levity and a time to laugh. A vote got pushed to Thursday, but the mayor told us the votes are there. He believes the feud is creating another tourist destination in the state. It may be crap to you, but it's money to us. I've got small bleachers set up outside the ponds that hold all of the uh, solid waste. And you can sit on your bleacher, have your picnic, and watch the plant operate. Uh, and it'll be very, very exciting. What could have been a stinky situation now turning into a pile of dough. Oh, Mayor Mark Bowen, always good for a laugh He's a good there. Sport. I know. And he said that John Oliver has agreed to come to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Again, though, this vote is going to be on Thursday, but he says, as we just mentioned, that he has the votes to make it pass. Bowen's a good sport with it. Oliver seems to love it. I think he could come. It could raise a lot of money. I mean, you know, as long it, as he's just, uh, just not a party pooper, I no. think it'd be good. Ah, uh, good one, Ben. Thank you, Jen. Thank you.